What's going on everyone, Montang Main here, coming to you with the first video of our The Art of Mira video series. The map that we're playing on today is House. So we're going to go over a couple different uh, variants of strategies for the different objectives on this map. Um, I chose this map because it's a simpler map. It's always the one that people usually go to to custom game. I personally prefer to run other maps, but uh, anyway going to delve right into it. So, uh, you always want to reinforce the wall by the door right there so that people uh, have a harder time shooting into the closet if they get into over, over by the bathroom. And then what you want to do is you want to go into kids' bedroom. You want to blow out uh, along the floor right here. So, that will give you a peek all the way from your mirror onto the back stairwell. Um, now, they can peek at you from back stairwell, but uh, if they're standing in that hallway, they can't see you, but you can see their feet. Now, on this back wall, when you're running this variant of the strategy, you want to blow it out enough, at least, so that you can see Treehouse at, at the very least. I like to blow it out a little higher, personally, so that I can huck Nitro um, down onto the landing of the back stairwell. But uh, that's pretty much up to whoever's running the strategy. Um, I like to put my other mirror facing toward the back right here, because then I get a clear view out the window of Master Bedroom. You always want to blow the top of the mirror out here ahead of time. Um, this will ensure that you can throw nitro out without having to blow it out and then throw the nitro, which by then it will be too late and uh, the individual you were trying to throw it at will probably be gone or moved off of that uh, location. Yeah, outside. Bathroom window. Okay. I hear shield. shield. Over here. Oh, cap down, bro. Are you good, brother? No, I'm fucking five health, bro. Uh, four found it's Monty. Watch out, C4 go- OH MOTHERFUCKER, DUDE! Kids bedroom window? Protect the biohazard container. Oh my god. He rushed in with a shotgun on me. Watch out, he's coming. Oh, on go? He's gonna try and shield bash. On go, brother. He's gonna block you out, Devin. You have to do something. I can't. I can't, bro. I can't. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Protect the biohazard container. The biohazard container securing pod. You know, you know what you must do. Brother Malcolm. He's gonna try and drop. They ceased attempting to secure the container. Oh, if only you weren't. If only you were three speed. Oh, he's playing super defensively, Devin. Prevent further access to the biohazard container. Devin, you're a god. You're a god. You're a god. Devin, look at that kill distribution right there. Look at that. Look at that kill distribution. Seven, three, two, seven, two, and two. <laughs> Another variant to the upstairs hey guys, defense in closet is this one right here. Um, on this one, you're going to be defending from workshop with your mirrors. So what you want to do is you want to blow out along the floor right here, but no higher. You want to keep it down there on that rim where it has like that little uh, vanilla color colored uh, trim along the bottom of the wall. Um, you want to blow the bottom out all the way along the bottom, even over in the corner uh, by the big window. Once you finish prepping the walls for your sight lines, what you want to do is you want to go into workshop and you want to reinforce the wall next to the doorway. Um, what you want to do is you want to get somebody else to reinforce the next one over. 
You want to place your mirror as far to the right as you can up against the hard wall. This is going to do two things. It's going to protect you from incoming fire from Treehouse, as well as the possible fire that can come from the workshop window. But you'll have plenty of a sound cue if somebody breaks that window, and you'll have a hard wall right there in the corner you can get up against. I always place my other hard, um, my other reinforcement over here on this wall next to the door as well, while recruiting a teammate to reinforce the other spot next to your mirror. Um, now I hold on to my second mirror just in case there's a twitch because I won't need it until they start to push front stairwell. Now. In this case, I opened it up because there was somebody on that window trying to place a breach charge and my teammate right was in the room. Um, the otherwise, I'll keep everything but the floor um, closed off. The main difference between this placement as opposed to the placement in Master Bedroom Closet is that you don't get an angle on Treehouse. Um, however, the floor that you're standing on is a hard floor, so they can't uh, shoot a firebolt up below you or buck the floor out from beneath you or do any of these types of things. However, it does give you excellent angles into the rooms. You'll see their legs before they can ever even see you, and you can hit every single part of the room from here. This is by far my favorite mirror placement on house. Is there a hole in the closet? Shouldn't be. There's a maverick right over here. He's putting a little one in, yeah. You could honestly probably... Uh, you can shoot through that wall. That strat fucks him up every time, bro. He's like, oh my god! <laughs> he left. He left before I confirmed. Oh, you downed him? Oh, yeah. I thought he just left. No, I downed him and he left before I could pop. Because I was out of ammo, I had to pop back up and confirm. I reloaded and popped back up and he left. The next objective that we're going to cover is the living room downstairs. Now, this is hands down one of the hardest objectives to defend the game. Um, but what I do a lot of the times, I'll come into kitchen right here and I'll blow this hole out between the cabinets and the countertops. And uh, this will give you a couple really cool peeks. Um, it'll give you a peek out towards and out back door a little bit. It'll also give you a peek into the um, objective itself. Now I like to come over here into the dining room area and slap my mirror on that soft wall right there. It's like a wall bang around it. Now this one, you have to put it on the soft wall. Um, this is one variant of this, and uh, I'll probably be bringing you another variant of this shortly. Um, but this one gives you a full view into front lobby. Um, and this one, I opened it up because I wanted to be able to uh, uh, chuck nitro out of it. But as you can see, you can see all the way out the back door with that pixel right there. And then uh, on the other side, on the right side, you can see the you can see completely into the living room as well as out part of the window in the living room. Basement, they got the lobby camera, so grill or master bedroom somewhere. Honestly, just avoiding upstairs. Yeah, I'm down there. They're up hatch, the hatch, too. <laughs> That's probably Buck. Yep. One out, four remaining. Call it, dude. Yes. She's probably no. so pissed. Like, how the fuck did you shoot me? Oh, uh, area of effects up. 
As far as the actual mirror position goes on this objective, you can hold down kitchen very well, so when they come in back door and try to rotate in through kitchen, you can completely shut that down. From this position, you also have a very good view down the basement stairwell that comes up into kitchen, and also from your second mirror, you can see down that stairwell. Here's an example of how this strategy works when you're being pushed from the backside from main windows and uh, the office windows. So go ahead and check it out. This overall is a pretty effective strategy. You'll notice that I haven't included a mirror strategy for garage. Um, I usually don't go Mira if I'm expecting to be on Garage uh, for a couple reasons. Number one, um, it's way too easy to open up from above you and get you from above. At the same time, everything always gets opened up and uh, there's very good angles for the attackers to push you down there that a Mira just isn't too effective. Um, I do have a placement that I use down there from time to time, but like I said, it's not my favorite, and so I'm not really going to recommend it to others as it requires a whole lot of team cooperation in your reinforcement and setup. I see him. I see him. These have been some of the most basic mirror strategies that I have in my repertoire. Um, we're starting out with house for our first video, as it is the most basic. Um, our next video is going to be on plane. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope that it helped you in some way. Um, and uh, go ahead and drop a like, leave a comment if you guys have a favorite map that you'd like to see the breakdown of mirror strategies on, and I'll see you in the next video.